Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today I'm going to unbox Star Wars Asteroid Escape. All right, well, I don't know if this is a traditionally a uh, unboxing, because this game is not new, right? It's not in shrink, and it's been played. But, uh, you know, this game is pretty hard to find, so I thought I would uh, open it up and show it to you. Why is it hard to find? Because it's 10 years old and it was made with a Star Wars license. And as far as I know, it was only ever made in French, um, as you can see here. Um, but this came out uh, before Zuro of the Seas. So it's a re-implementation of Zuro that uses asteroids, which, you know, uh, if you know Zuro of the Seas, it has these dragons or something going around. Um, so essentially, this is Zuro of the Seas, but uh, in the Star Wars universe. So two to eight players. Let's, uh, let's see what's in the box. You know, uh, so this is a translation somebody made of took the Zuro of the Seas rules and uh, sort of themed them back to this Star Wars game. So I guess this isn't a translation. This is the Sir of the Seas rules. Um, it's rather than a direct translation of the French rules here. So like I said, this game is hard to get. I actually got this imported from France. There is a copy for sale on Board Game Geek for like $250 new and shrink. If this video gets a million likes and that game is still for sale, I'll buy it and unbox it live or in a video or something i don't know whatever um so here's the board um all right so you've got a big board and it's got sort of this grid going on here with the numbers um which is for some dice here that are in the box so it's that's a nice quality uh, board i mean it's nothing special uh but it's maybe a little more higher quality than you would expect from something, say mass market and then there you go it's just all these little components in here. So I mentioned the red and the blue uh, coordinates on the grid for the dice. Uh, and there's a bunch of different ships, right? So you can be, uh, you know, the Millennium Falcon. You could be, what is this, Darth Vader's uh, TIE fighter? Maybe. Uh, you've got a Y wing, an X wing, a B wing. Ooh, I like, you know, I like Star Wars, so I like the art TIE Interceptor and a TIE Bomber. Cool. And there are standees for all of those pieces. Yep. So enough of those. Here are what the, here, here are all the asteroids. So you can see what they look like, with the numbers uh, around the edges. All right, asteroids. There's the Yoda tile, uh, which I guess sort of serves like the dragon in the original uh, Tsuro. Oh, there's another piece down here. Is it just a, oh yeah, just a regular TIE fighter. Cool. And then of course you have all the tiles. I'm not gonna show you uh, all of these, but I'll just give you, you know, a sample of them. So again, very reminiscent of Tsuro, but it's got that sort of Star Wars artwork to it. So yeah, you can get this game pretty inexpensively uh, if you're in France um, or, uh, you know, can get it shipped somewhere uh, from France fairly inexpensively, uh, say if you're in the EU or something. Um, but there you go. That's what you can expect when you finally get uh, a copy of your hands.